Good evening, my name is Sasha Jaynes. I'm an associate professor on the ballet faculty here at Jacobs School of Music, Indiana University. And welcome to part two of the Choreography Project 2022. Um, this is our composer collaboration portion of choreography today. Um, and this is sort of gonna be divided up into two parts. Um, we have a, another collaboration, which I'm gonna invite some people out to talk about here in a minute. Um, a collaboration with the uh, children in the fourth grade of uh, Fairview Elementary School. And then the second part of um, the evening will be a more traditional um, collaboration with live musicians and four of our um, undergrad choreographers. Um, before we get going, and I invite Mairead and Ari out here, uh, I just want to say a few thank yous. Um, this, is, this has been a, a pretty amazing day. Already we've had 33 uh, world premieres. Um, I guess essentially we're about to have another 10 or nine world premieres. And this part of the evening is all completely original music. So premieres on premieres. So um, it's, it's a pretty exciting time. Um, <clears throat> we're also streaming live on IU Music Live. Um, this today, or the last couple of days, really would not have been possible um, without the guidance and the help of our chair, uh, Sarah Roth. I, don't, I can't see you, Sarah, but thanks for all your help and, and making sure we... <coughs> you managed to squeeze every second out of every possible day for us to um, make this possible. So, um, and we, we couldn't have done it without you. Um, also, there's some other people that have, have really been outstanding in helping us get this very important um, portion of our students' education on the stage. So um, this is, like I said, this is a, a partnership between the composition department and the um, IU ballet department. So um, <clears throat> it's, it has been amazing. And I think w once you see what happens tonight, you, you'll be just as amazed. I've got notes here, and I'm also getting a FaceTime from my daughter. So please excuse <laughs> me. She's probably wondering where I am, not picking her up. but. Um, she might have to wait a little while. Oh, which reminds me, there is an intermission in your um, uh, brochure or your playbill. Um, I think we're going to ignore that and we're going to go straight through. We have about an hour of programming, so if you can sit tight, I think, um, rather than try and break it up, I think we're just going to keep going through. Um, so if, I'd especially like to thank Alice Trent um, for all the wonderful lighting designs. And, and we were constantly throwing things at her at the last minute. and. Um, she always came up to the plate with, you know, with, it was amazing. You'll see the effects of uh, all her hard work and, and how, how gracious she's been with her time. Gwen Van Denberg, Gwen Van Denberg um, you, who you can't see, who makes everyone get on and off stage in a safe manner, our stage manager. Uh, Hayley Strong and her team of um, audio specialists for all the sound equipment that we've been uh, having to use. Um, Anthony Taddy for his help with recordings and PQ Fan and Ari Schwartz, who made this evening possible. And I also want to have a special shout out to Margaret Broadhurst, who you can't see, who's been sitting over here, <coughs> probably for eight hours a day, pressing play. And it's a, it's a very stressful job, this job. So um, I know what it's like, and we are very grateful. We're sorry that you're not dancing. We'd rather see you out there than back there, but um, we're very grateful for all your help. Um, so at this time, I, I want to talk. I want to bring Mairead Moore and Ari Schwartz out to talk a little bit about the first portion of the evening, um, Animal Tales. Mairead, are you there? Come on out. I'm going to hand you the mic. Here's Mairead Moore, one of our senior graduating students, and Ari Schwartz. Hello, I'm Mairead Moore, and I'm going to introduce this amazing project. So. What you're about to witness is really an amazing collaboration from all different parts of our community and all different artists. Um, we wanna thank a couple people. So Professor PQ Fawn really originated this idea and had the incredible idea and creativity to utilize students from the Fairview Elementary and their writing and turn it into this big production that it is now. Um, the amazing Maggie Olivo came on board and helped organize the creation of the five stories about community building. And then a huge thank you to fourth grade teacher, Mr. Duncan, who really championed this project in his classroom. 
And we also want to thank the Fairview principal and assistant principal who are here today at the MAC, uh, Sean Gobert and Kelsey Pearson. Thank you for giving us your school and allowing us to open it up for this amazing project. And I heard that we have a few of our Fairview students who are the writers of this, these stories in the audience today. Let's have them stand up and let's all give them a round of applause. And then to tell you a little bit about the musical side of this project, I'm going to pass it off to Ari Schwartz. Hey everyone, I'm Ari. Uh, I'm here representing the composition department. And it's always just such a treat when we get to work with our colleagues in the ballet department. Um, it's so much fun and I know the composers all really enjoyed this process. And again, a, a big thank you to Professor P.Q. Fawn for the idea uh, behind this production. So originally, um, what happened is we received stories from the Fairview fourth grade elementary school class, uh, and they were fantastic. They were just, I, I think the kids really infused such a, a life and a soul into this project um, that was really inspiring to the musicians. So the composers got to work. Uh, they started drafting their ideas, sketching their music, and then they came and showed the class some of their sketches and I think the kids also really enjoyed that process and they got to kind of feed off each other's energy and collaborate a little bit like that face to face. Um, and the result I think you'll see is a really dynamic and energetic performance uh, that was really just uh, so much fun on my end to watch happen and I'm sure also fun for the composers to get to work with all these amazing people. Back to you. And we want to give Ari a huge thankful thank you because this project really wouldn't have happened without him. He did such a huge part in the really bringing all the different pieces together and made everything possible. So thank you, Ari. So once we got all of our, our compositions, there's five different choreographers, one for each piece of the different scenes. And once we got, we all, all five choreographers, we worked together to decide our cast, what kind of themes we want to see throughout the ballet, worked out some of the elements that will make it one cohesive project all together, because you have five different choreographers, you're gonna have five different styles of, and artistic visions. So we worked out all those details to make everything flow together. And then we had our cast, and so we all kind of choreographed our own little sections and then we work together to put all of them together with all the different parts and the dancers. So, yeah. Yep. All right, I think without further ado, we're gonna get going here. The other thing I forgot to tell you is each of the um, choreographers are gonna introduce and read the story for their section. Did we talk about that? We did, okay. The other part is in the second part of the show, the choreographers are gonna give you a little insight as to what was the thinking behind their individual pieces as we get move, um, past the animal tales portion of the evening. So um, sit back and relax, and we're gonna have our first choreographer come out and read his story. Brandon, are you there? Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Murray. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight. My name is Brandon Silverman, and I am a graduating senior here at IU. I know, where is the time gone? <sighs> Um, also, sorry about the outfit. I am dancing later in the program, so this is my warm-up clothes. Anyway, um, so I choreographed the library scene, which is the very first scene that you'll be seeing here, and the fourth graders who wrote my scene are Adriana and Kinley, beautiful writers, and I'm excited to share their story with you at this moment. So, the turtle goes to the library. Even though he's shy, he's excited to read all the books. There he sees Flamingo. Flamingo struggles with reading and is amazed at how well Turtle reads. Out comes Cheetah, Billy Fob, who spots Turtle. Turtle tries to hide it in his shell, but it's too late. He beats up Turtle because Turtle is so smart. Turtle goes home. The Turtle's mom is so mad that she calls Cheetah's mom. Cheetah's mom is disappointed and talks with Cheetah about his actions. Cheetah feels bad and finds Turtle. 
when he does, he asks Turtle to read with him. Turtle is with Flamingo. At first, Turtle says no to Cheetah, but Cheetah apologizes and helps Turtle to read books that are too high for him. Finally, Turtle trusts him, so they become friends. So without further ado, I give you Animal Tales, and please enjoy the overture before my piece starts. Thank you so much.
Hi, I'm Jada Hazlett, and I got the opportunity to choreograph for the race scene, and this is to music composed by Alex Tedrow. The fourth graders who wrote the piece are named Powers and Edwin, and I'm going to read their story to you. Cheetah invites Turtle to a friendly race. Cheetah, Turtle, and Flamingo go to the race. Turtle and Cheetah get to the starting line. Other animals are cheering them on. The cheetah annoyingly brags about, he's going to, about how he's going to beat his new friend. The turtle turns to Flamingo for support. It's time to start, and cheetah runs extremely fast in the beginning, using up all of his energy. He collapses and is out of breath. Turtle, consistent and steady, takes the lead and wins. Once Cheetah realizes that he's lost, he's extremely sad. Then, his feelings turn to anger. At this point, he sees Turtle and Flamingo, and they tell him, this was just a race. He takes several deep breaths and calms down. Enjoy the race scene.
Hi everyone, my name is Zoe Gallagher and I am the choreographer of the scene at the grocery store. This tale was written by two fourth graders named Elliot and Aaliyah and goes something like this. The goat and cheetah go to the store. The goat is counting the whole time, able to count to really high numbers. The cheetah starts yelling his brother's name over and over. Out of annoyance, the goat counts louder. Finally, the, the cheetah leaves his sibling. The goat then sees their friend, the flamingo. Both of them love cheese, so they fill their carts with cheese. Once they go to the checkout line, they realize that they don't have any money. First, goat tries to sneak the cheese by counting really high. Extremely impressed by their ability to count, the cashier doesn't even notice, but then Turtle, their friend, stops them. Turtle notices that they have really cool socks and tells them that he'll give them money for their socks so that they can get the cheese. Cheetah returns and is actually proud of his sibling, the goat, for figuring out how to pay for the cheese. Enjoy.
name is Sarah, and I had the opportunity to choreograph to the story Cascades, which was written by Brandon and Luna. Um, after the animals go to the grocery store, they decide to go to Cascades Park. It's a sunny day at the park, and Flamingo and Turtle are playing together. Flamingo gets hurt, and the turtle has to build up courage to ask for help. Turtle sees Cheetah and Tiger playing tag. Even though Cheetah is very fast, Tiger tells amazing jokes that make Cheetah laugh. Turtle sticks its head out to tell them about Flamingo. Cheetah and Tiger then rush over to help. Tiger cheers up Flamingo by telling jokes. Cheetah is able to quickly run over to get water for Flamingo. Flamingo feels better, and Cheetah feels good that he was able to help Flamingo.
Again, I'm Mairead Moore, and I had the pleasure of choreographing the last piece in this collection, which is the movie scene written by Fairview fourth graders Brandon and Juan. It is set to music by Dmitry Volkov and goes as follows. Cheetah and Tiger go to the movies. Tiger keeps annoying Cheetah and won't stop. The jokes have gotten old. Finally, Cheetah warns him that he'll beat up Tiger if he doesn't stop talking. Turtle eavesdrops and hears this threat. He tells Cheetah, stop being mean. Turtle is being an upstander. Turtle tells him, when I was bullied, I didn't like that, and I don't want people to feel the same way. Then Cheetah says, fine, maybe next time I'll beat you up, so watch out. I'm bigger and stronger, and there's nothing you can do about it. As they watch the movie about kindness, Cheetah gets an idea and leaves the theater to get popcorn. He comes back and whispers, sorry for saying all that. Cheetah apologizes to Tiger, and together with the others, they decide to rent the movie theater for the night and have a sleepover. Cheetah cannot believe that he somehow has all the friends that he does. Thank you, and enjoy.
found it. Okay, hi everyone, my name is Eli Deersing. I'm really excited to share my work Chit Chat with you. I was so fortunate to work with my dear friend uh, Trevor Zavik on the composition for this piece. Uh, in our first meetings to talk about it, uh, we were kind of exploring the idea in contemporary music where resolu or not resolution, sorry, uh, building of tension instead of resolving will build into a new tension, which I thought was a really interesting idea to kind of play with in my choreography as well. But this is my last piece here at IU, so I wanted to make it something kind of fun. So I was thinking about how tension can build and also be fun. Um, into new tension, and I was thinking about the idea of like gossip and drama, uh, and how instead of kind of dissolving, often we build it into something new. It's like that game of telephone where the word changes. Um, and so I thought that'd be a really fun way to kind of bring that idea of tension uh, into a more, not uplifting, but exciting, uh, more relatable piece maybe for our dancers. Um, our musicians aren't quite here yet, but as soon as they get out, I'm really excited to share it with you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Elizabeth Barnes, and my, my piece, Sunrise Moments, is inspired by the little things in life and enjoying every moment you have with the people around you. I would like to thank my uh, dancers, Thomas and Amanda, and the musicians, and the composer of this piece, Alexander Toth. Thank you. Enjoy.
Hi, my name is Sarah Lewis, and I'm very excited to be sharing my piece with you all today. The name I've chosen for my piece is called The Timeless Waltz, and this name was inspired by the music, which was composed to be rhythmically ambiguous. As ballet dancers, we're so used to counting music in sequences of eight, so we always say five, six, seven, eight. So this piece, which had less of a consistent rhythm, was definitely a very unique challenge for me as a choreographer because it pushed me to think outside the box and come up with new and creative ideas. And I think that my dancers really rose to the challenge and helped embody my vision. Um, I wanted to thank the composer Evan and all the musicians here and also my dancers for all their hard work on this project. I hope you enjoy, thank you. Thank you. 
again everyone um, I hope you've been enjoying the show um, my piece which is the final piece in the program is entitled data points and it's to a newly composed piece of music um, called respirations um, I titled the work data points because I was particularly inspired by the mathematical concept of standard deviations which um, for those of you unfamiliar is the distance a uh, point is from the mean or average of a set of data. Um, and so I chose to explore that in movement by taking the concept that all of my dancers were their own individual unique entity, but also part of a larger collective as we all are in our lives. I hope you enjoy and thank you guys so much for coming. <laughs> 